الأولى أن الله خلقنا. That Allah created us. There's proof on that in the Quran and in the Sunnah and by intellect. And there's so much proof, 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 and it's so plenty and great and dignified that you literally can go on without exaggeration for months talking about these verses, if not more. Tawheed al rububiyyah is essential to resist doubts. So a messenger comes to Abu Hanifa from Ahl al-Sunnah, crosses the Tigris River, is complaining that there's some philosophers, atheists, that want a challenge to a debate and they want Abu Hanifa to take on that challenge. Abu Hanifa says, okay, let them know, I'll be there shortly. He has to cross the Tigris River to get there. Uh, time passed and the messenger got worried. Noon, evening, sundown, night, the atheists or those who want to debate began to mock them. So the Muslims began to get tense in a way because they knew Abu Hanifa was the Imam, one of the most knowledgeable of their time. And he was a man of his word and he would fulfill his promise. But they thought that maybe something happened to him which stopped him from attending that event. Late at night, Abu Hanifa shows up. And the Muslims are there and they ask in concern, what happened to Abu Hanifa? Abu Hanifa rahimahullah says, what if I told you, look when he says, what if I told you that makes it no longer alive. He says, what if I told you on my way here, got to the Tigris River, got across to get over here. There was no navigator, there's no boat, no sailor, no nothing. Suddenly, suddenly planks of wood were rising out of the trees. And they're all cut evenly, same shape, same size. The width, the length is all perfect. And the boat put itself together, all alone, all this on itself. And it docks alone, and it sustains itself alone. The people trying to debate him began to laugh, say impossible. A boat makes itself, positions itself, docks and docks, perfects itself, loads and unloads, impossible. They began to wonder if this man that they're claiming is the most knowledgeable, the biggest scholar, if he's, you know, being ridiculous or he's a childish type of guy, what's going on here? Abu Hanifa basically said what we would say today, arrest my case. That's all I have to say. If you cannot believe a boat came into creation by itself, and this is only a boat, how can you believe the whole world, the universe with its sun? with its moon, with its stars and oceans, with its mountains and planets, came into being without a creator. They're gonna call you crazy. But a universe can come into creation by chance.